Introduction Lesson 6. What's the meaning of sharpener? Al finalizar la lección, los alumnos aprenderán a preguntar y explicar el significado de palabras del salón de clases. The three wise men is on January the 6th. Mexican Flags Day is on February the 24th. Spring starts on March the 21st. That's all in this month. Children's Day is on April the 30th. Because we celebrate Mother's Day on May the 10th. My favorite date is on September the 16th because we celebrate our independence. Columbus Day is on October the 12th. Dia de Muertos! It's on November the 2nd. Christmas eats on the 24th. Come in, huh? When's your birthday? It's on June the 19th. Mateo, when's your birthday? It's on November the 23rd and June. Uh, 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 My birthday uh, uh, is on March the 21st. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. clock doesn't work. I'm already late. Oh, my God! One, <gasps> two, three, four. Diego. 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 Despierta. Ya es tarde y tienes clase. Levántate. <laughs> Y con la maestra Neida. Ah, no puedo llegar tarde. ¿Dónde están mis cosas, y mi mochila y mis libros? Good morning, Jimena. Good morning, Diego. Good morning, Miss Rose. Why are you in a rush? I'm late. I have to pick up my niece, Karen. She arrives at Simol today. That's great. Yeah. Well, I have to go now. See you later. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Adelante. ¿Ah? Maestra, ¿puedo pasar? ¿Por qué a esta hora, Diego? Es que se me hizo un poco tarde. No vuelve a suceder. Ay, Diego, siempre es lo mismo. Te la pasas soñando despierto. Entra y toma asiento. Voy a anotar una lista de los útiles escolares para este año. ¿De acuerdo? Por favor. Anoten en su cuaderno lo que está en el pizarrón. Aunt Rose, how do you say window in Spanish? We say uh, ventana. Aunt Rose. What? And how do you say door in Spanish? Mm, mm, we say puerta, Karen. Mm, okay. And how do you say... Now what? I don't know how to say everything. Please let me work. But how do you say a funny man with a hat at the door? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Hi, ladies. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, God, the last person I want to see. Hi, Dakota. Good morning. This is my niece, Karen. Hi, Karen. Nice to meet you. My name is Dakota Jean. <laughs> you have a girl's name, like mine. <laughs> no, of course not. It's a French name. It's pronounced Jean. And uh, you are Jean. See the difference? <laughs> no, 
but you're funny. <laughs> mm. Dakota, could you take Karen to Zimol? Dakota, maybe you can take Karen for a walk and talk about archaeology. She wants to be an archaeologist when she grows up. That's great. But no, I'm really busy. I'm looking for a map to mark a route. Oh, come on. She's just a girl. She's not going to give you any inconvenience. And you can teach her some things about archaeology. OK, OK, let's go. See you, Aunt Rose. See you later, guys. Ay, si yo viviera en otro lugar, seguro no tendría que tomar clases con la maestra Neida. Well, class, let's make the list of items for our course. Copy the list from the blackboard, please. A dictionary. A notebook. A sharpener. A pen, mm -hmm. scissors, mm -hmm. a pencil, mm -hmm. colors, mm -hmm. glue. <laughs> yes, Diego? Excuse me, teacher. What's the meaning of sharpener? Oh, sharpener is an item you use to sharpen your pencil. Use your dictionary. You can find the meaning of many words. Son demasiadas palabras. Mira el tamaño del diccionario. Si cae sobre Sabino, lo aplasta. Diego, ¿ya copiaste la lista de útiles? ¿Tienes alguna duda? No, maestra. Ninguna. Mm -mm. Pueden salir. I think we're lost. We've already been through here before. No, I don't think so. This is really beautiful. And today I've learned so many Spanish words. You're a human dictionary. <laughs> well, Karen, I'm glad you like Simol. And I've seen that you've written down all the words and their meanings in your notebook. Yes, just in case I forget them. What are you looking at? Oh, look, there's a telesecundaria. Let me show it to you. Really? Incredible. Let's go inside. Look at all this, Karen. This is a telesecundaria classroom. See, there is a board. What's the meaning of board? It's a white or green surface fixed to a wall. It's for writing on. Great! A board. Yes, a board. And this is a desk. A desk. And how do you say desk in Spanish? We say escritorio. What's the meaning of coderno? It's a notebook with empty pages. It's for writing in. Well, it's important to know everything in Spanish. I've learned so many words today. See, see, you look like a student too. Your school bag, your pencil, 
your pencil case, and this is the door. Can you see this? Next to the door, there's a window. Ah, and where do the kids sit? On chairs, of course. On these chairs. The cota? Yes. What's the meaning of libro in Spanish? It's a set of printed pages fastened together inside a cover. It contains information. Pizarrón. Escritorio. Cuaderno. Mochila. Lápiz. Estuche de lápices. Escritorio. Puerta. Ventana. Libro. Don't worry, oh. it's just Sabino. Sabino? Yes, it's the <sighs> snake belonging to the wise man in Simol. Is it dangerous? Not at all. It's a friendly snake. Friendly? Nah. I am the most dangerous snake on earth. <sighs> La explicación de Dakota y la imaginación de Diego nos mostraron los objetos y los útiles dentro del salón de clases. A dictionary. A notebook. A sharpener. A pen. Scissors. A pencil. Colors. Glue. What's the meaning of board? It's a white or green surface fixed to a wall. It's for writing on. Great! A board! Yes, a board. Blackboard. Desk. Notebook. School bag. Pencil. Pencil case. Chair. Door. Window. Book. Estos objetos son utilizados con frecuencia en el salón de clases. Yes, Diego. Excuse me, teacher. What's the meaning of sharpener? Oh, sharpener is an item you use to sharpen your pencil. Use your dictionary. You can find the meaning of many words. El vocabulario sobre el salón de clases es importante cuando vayas a comprar tus útiles escolares, pero también debes saber el significado de cada uno de ellos usando la pregunta What's the meaning of? No lo olvides. Nos vemos en la siguiente.